wonderful people, welcome to Busey Speaks. My name is Jesse Tosin Arunimo. I talk on faith, relationship, and lifestyle. Well, today is my first podcast. Yay! And I'm so glad that you're joining me today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to handle offenses. You know, offenses is a general thing that is common to man. It is unavoidable. You know, we live in a world that is not offense-free. Life is full of offenses. People, day in, day out, might do things that might want to get you offended. And as a believer in Christ, we have to learn how to handle offenses. Because if we don't, it can actually give room to the devil. So firstly, what is offense? Offense is any act that can bring you annoyance, displeasure, or resentment. And when I talk about hearts, it can be from words, from thoughts, from actions, you know, actions from people around you. And um, when you don't handle offense, it can lead to bitterness. You know, you, we have so many people that are living a bitter life in today's world. And it's because they don't know how to handle offenses. You have, you have people that people have offended them maybe for like 20 years. And they are still carrying that baggage of offense here and there. Offense can turn to hatred. Offense can turn to res- resentment. When you resent someone, this is when you don't handle it. Since we know that we do not live in a world that is free from offenses, we have to learn to handle it. Alright, so the first thing I would like to talk about is the fact that you must identify that offense is bound to happen. Offense is a normal thing in this world. If you are going to learn how to handle offense, you must learn to actually know that offense is a normal thing. You live with people because human beings are just, they have blood flowing through their veins. In fact, people might not intend to offend you and you might get offended. Sometimes offense happen when we misunderstand what people are doing around us. It comes by just pure misunderstanding. Probably, probably I just want to sleep and you, you want to go out. So because I don't want to go out with you, you feel offended. So it's, it might just come as a pure misunderstanding. And then you have to make a decision not to get offended. The only way you can actually live a life free from offense is when you make up your mind that no matter what anybody does, you are not going to pick offense. You know, for example, for those that are married, you have to make up your mind that no matter what you, what your spouse does, you are not going to pick offense. And the third thing I would like to talk about is the fact that make up your mind to forgive. You know, people are going to hurt you. People are going to do things that would hurt your feelings. People are going to do things that are bad to you. They might not intentionally do it, but they just find themselves doing it. So you have to make up your mind to forgive in advance and to also forgive them when they hurt you. That is the Christian thing to do. That is just the way to live. Forgive people in advance and forgive them when they offend you. Because if you do not forgive, you are just going to be carried, carrying that baggage of hurt, of pain, of all forgiveness all around you. And that's not going to do you good. Apart from the fact that unforgiveness will affect your spiritual life, it can also affect your health. That's why so many people have so many health conditions here and there. It's because they've lived a life of unforgiveness. Nothing should be too hard for you to forgive. I know it's easier said than done. People have done terrible things, but you should learn to forgive. You know, that was what Jesus Christ taught us, that we should forgive. Seven times, seven times times seven times it's an infinite amount of forgiveness you have to keep forgiving the more they keep offending you the more you should keep forgiving and that is what we can see in the life of jesus no matter what the scribes did no matter what the pharisees did you know just to get him offended he didn't get offended and you know the interesting part jesus christ forgive us in advance you know, the Bible says, but we were yet sinners. <laughs> Christ died for us. Christ forgave me in advance, even while I was not yet born. Can you understand that kind of forgiveness? He died for my sins right in advance. So let us live a life of forgiveness. 
and then we can follow Jesus's example when he taught his disciples on how to forgive you know somebody came and was like how many times should I forgive my brother and Jesus was like seven times seven times seven times I think I said that earlier and then he also gave us another example in the book of Luke 17 1 to 10 you can take out time to read it when he said okay when somebody offends you you can go and meet the person personally and tell them they've offended you or you take somebody along with you maybe an elder in the church or in your Christian community to talk to that person then if the person is still adamant you you have to just leave the person that was what Jesus taught us leave the person at least you've tried your best to settle the conflict or to tell the person that okay you feel offended you've you've done that if the person is still adamant and still doesn't see anything they've done wrong then you leave the person these are ways you can actually trash out offenses you know it's not all the time that you should keep things bottled up you can walk up to that person and be like sister brother you've offended me or massa i was actually hurt by what you did the other time simple but bottling up feelings unforgiveness would actually take you nowhere it would actually cause more harm than good because the person who has offended you most time is all, is unaware of the fact that they've done something wrong to you so you must learn to let go of um of what of offenses of so many other things that might be that, that you might have bottled up in your mind the third thing i would like to talk about is the fact that learn to live a life of love love is actually the best way to deal with offense you know in love we forgive people there's forgiveness in love that is why i would love you to take time to read first corinthians chapter 13 it talks about the character of love love does not rejoice in evil love covers multitudes of sin it doesn't mean it covers sin but that love forgives sin you understand what i'm saying love believes the best of people you know in love you give allowances for people for example somebody ought to go out with you you can give allowance for that person and say oh maybe he's tired instead of getting offended and getting all worked up you can just be like ah i guess he's tired or maybe somebody ought to have gotten you something, sent you money, for instance. You can just be like, oh, maybe he doesn't have much on him. Learn to give allowances for people. That is when um, the Bible, Apostle Paul in the Bible was talking about the fact that love believes the best of people. Because in your act of believing the best of people, you will really get offended because you always give them allowances. For example, your spouse shouted on you. You can be like, ah, oh, maybe he's in a bad mood. You understand something like that can actually help you not to abhor offenses or to pick up offenses in what people do so learn to love people and um, i would like to recommend a book by and he again he actually talked a lot in fact that book is a blessing he actually talked a lot on how we can deal with people how we can live peacefully with all men just like the bible said he, he said a lot of things on a believer's love work how you can love people even when they are undeserving nobody really deserves love actually but we should love them regardless we should love people just like christ loves the church it's not only when you are benefiting from what some somebody is doing for you that you love them no you love them regardless even if they are acting bad towards you you will choose to love them because that's the christian thing to do that is the biblical way to actually relate with people you relate with them true love that's the best thing bible says follow peace with all men you try as much as possible to live peaceable with everyone around you you don't have offenses you don't have grudges if anyone does anything to you you forgive them immediately you might not forget because somebody you might be saying ah i forgiven the person but i still remember definitely you might not forget but forgive them that's the most important thing forgive people because when you forgive you are actually doing yourself a greater good forgiveness is divine i know god forgives but we as believers have the nature of god in us so that gives us the ability to actually forgive whosoever hurts us and then forgiveness is done because christ has forgiven us so who are we <laughs> to be told forgiveness from anyone who hurts us? Remember that parable of a man that his master forgave. 
who now went to go and lock up another man because the man is owing him. The master was so angry that he had to say, throw this man into the dungeon. Who are you to not forgive your fellow brethren when I myself forgive you? So you must learn to forgive people. And then lastly, forgiveness is you actually put into work the word of God. And that brings me to the last point. When it comes to offenses, guard your heart with the word of God. Be in and out of season with the word of God. Let the word of God guide your conduct. Let the word of God shape on your life. You know, it is in the word of God that we get strength for our day-to-day activities. It is through the word of God that we actually gather strength for whatever storm that we might face. So, you know, I put out a quote the other day about this my uh, but this my podcast that's coming out soon. And in that in that quote I got to understand that most times the reason why we get offended is not because of people that are offending us, but it's because of we ourselves, because we have unresolved issues lying on the inside of us. So the reason why you are picking offense is because of, of some things you've not dealt with in your life. So, and that is why it is important to spend time with the Word of God. The Bible says we should daily renew our mind in the Word of God. You know, those issues, it is actually the Word of God that can fix them. It is the Word of God that can set you straight. It is the Word of God that that can set you on the right track. So just imagine you are happy on the inside and somebody is trying to make you sad. It can't work because you have overflowing joy on the inside of you. So I hope you were blessed by this. If you were blessed by this, please drop a comment for me in the comment section below. And I sure do hope that I will see you next time. So I come away another time with fresh episodes on Busing Speaks. I am Jesu Tosin. Have a wonderful day. Bye.